Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sam Kwok, one of the Kwok Brothers, real estate investor and entrepreneur. And in this video, I'm gonna go and break down what exactly is a HELOC home equity line of credit. Now, before I do, make sure you go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified in our future videos. I know a lot of you guys know what uh, home equity is, I know a lot of you guys are smart, you guys are educated, you guys are sophisticated, uh, but I wanna make sure that everyone's on the same page here. So uh, home equity is essentially, to give you a baby step definition, home equity is essentially what your home is worth minus what you owe on the property. So let's say your home value is $200,000, and let's say you owe $100,000 as a mortgage, Consequently, your equity is $100,000. So you can do all sorts of different things with your equity. Again, you can borrow against your uh, equity. In this case, you're using uh, a line of credit to borrow against your equity, which you know this, this is what the video is all about. Uh, you can also sell your property and get your equity portion out as cash, minus, of course, any expenses that are related to selling your property. So equity is a good thing. We want more equity. Uh, that's uh, something that we're looking forward to. Now that we understand what a home equity is, uh, the line of credit portion essentially basically takes your home equity and kind of pretty much turns it into a, a credit card. So going back to the early example, $100,000 equity, and if you get a line of credit on that $100,000, you're essentially getting the ability to use that $100,000 sort of like a credit card. So you can basically use up to $100,000, borrow up to $100,000, pay back whatever you've used and reuse it all over again, again, just like a credit card. Now, another important concept to understand is the concept of LTV, which stands for loan to value. Now, loan to value is essentially how much can you get in terms of your loan in comparison to your home value. Going back to the $200,000 home value example, in this case, as it stands, you have what's called 50% loan to value, meaning 50% of your total home value is being owed on a mortgage. So if let's say a bank offers you an 80% or let's make it easier, 90% loan to value home equity line of credit. What that means is we can borrow up to, up to $180,000 out of $200,000 because $180,000 is 90% of $200,000. So we're already at 50%, uh, we can only use 40% uh, of the $200,000 value towards our home equity line of credit. In this case, um, this is called a second position home equity line of credit because your mortgage that's already there is your first position. It comes before this new home equity line of credit. Using the 90% loan to value, we got ourselves an $80,000 home equity line of credit. So this is what's known as second position because we already have a $100,000 mortgage, which is the first position, it's been there, and $80,000 home equity line of credit is considered a second position. So this $80,000, uh, a lot of people have this misconception that you get this $80,000 all up front, much like a mortgage. Well. Again, it's like a credit card, you don't get the $80,000 upfront, which you can choose to, you can write a check against your home equity line of credit and get it all upfront, which we don't really advise that you do, we don't recommend for that, but you can, uh, it's totally up to you, but it's kind of like having a, uh, getting an $80,000 limit credit card, essentially. And you can use whatever portion of that $80,000 for whatever you like to do. Of course, here in the Quack Brothers, we don't condone, you know, you go and spend that money on Las Vegas or getting a new car or, or a boat uh, or Justin Bieber tickets, I don't know. You guys can spend whatever money on whatever on things, but we don't condone that. Obviously, we condone on using uh, the home equity line of credit to either pay off your mortgage, to pay off your debt, or to uh, acquire rental properties, income producing assets uh, that are gonna help you make more money. Now, speaking of which, uh, if you guys are interested in paying off your mortgage within five to seven years using a HELOC, we have a separate video, about 28 minutes long. The video is right here. Click on that video and I'm gonna go and explain to you guys how to use a home equity line of credit to pay off your mortgage within five to seven years without having to make more money or changing your lifestyle to cut back on your expenses. So go and check out the video if you guys are interested in paying off your mortgage uh, using a home equity line of credit. Again, your line of credit essentially is like a credit card. Uh, in fact, there are different types of line of credit. There's a personal line of credit, which is uh, which doesn't use a home equity line of credit. It's very, it's, it's kind of like a brother, a younger brother. Uh, actually say it's a bigger brother of your credit card. 
Um, home equity line of credit, the difference between a personal line of credit and a home equity line of credit is essentially uses your home equity um, as the portion that you can use for your line of credit. There's also business line of credit. If you have a business, uh, typically you can get a line of credit if you have a legit legitimate business. It works very similar to a home equity line of credit. Again, the difference is it's not attached to any specific home equity. Now that you guys understand what a line of credit is as well as the home equity, uh, a lot of you guys uh, might be saying, well, Sam, uh, I know what a HELOC is, or I've been doing my research. Aren't home equity line of credit interest rate higher than a mortgage? Which I have to say, yeah, it, it's absolutely true. Um, typically, home equity line of credit interest rates are higher than your mortgage. But here's a trick. Home equity line of credit, the way that the interest is calculated and applied is completely different as to how a mortgage uh, and the interest rate is calculated. So when it comes to home equity line of credit, it uses a concept called average daily interest. The reason why HELOCs uses average daily interest is because you could take the money out of the HELOC and pay it back. So uh, the way to calculate the interest, um, to kind of give you an illustration, I, I don't wanna go too deep into this, but it takes whatever balance that you have of that day, divided by 365 days times the interest rate, and you get what's called the average daily balance. Today, you may have, let's say, zero balance on your home equity line of credit, which means that you're not gonna owe anything on your interest, right? But tomorrow, you may spend, let's say, $5,000, okay? Which means that you have now have a balance of $5,000 divided by 365 days times the interest rate, that's the amount of interest that you owe on that particular day. The next day, you may spend even more money. Let's say you spent another $2,000, thus now you have $7,000 of balance, right? Now it's $7,000 divided by 365 days times whatever interest that you owe, uh, the interest rate you owe on the HELOC. So every day, your interest may, may vary. You may uh, have a different amount of interest in one day, and the next day you may have a completely different amount of interest that you owe. So that's why home equity line of credit if you use it properly, and I'm, I'm gonna show you guys a breakdown in the other video on how to pay off your mortgage, I'm gonna show you guys why using a HELOC is a much more efficient and a much more effective tool when it comes to paying off any debt that you may have, like a student loan, car loan, mortgage, personal loan, business loan, whatever the loan you may have, uh, if you can take a home equity line of credit or any line of credit and pay off an amortized interest, which is different, than your average daily uh, or simple interest. It's a much e efficient tool. What's unique to HELOCs versus a mortgage is that HELOCs are considered non-QM loans. Mortgages in by general and by definition is regulated heavily by the government. So the government sort of sets regulations and standards as to how banks issue out mortgages and how they give out mortgages. Well, when it comes to HELOCs, uh, it's not quite as well regulated or it's not as much regulated as a mortgage. So what that means is that the banks could sort of dictate and they have the freedom to change and customize the features of the HELOC. So basically what I'm saying is that not all HELOCs are created equal. Uh, you can go to bank A and they may have a completely different type of HELOC. Bank B may have a different set of features and different types of interest rate. So wherever you go in terms of uh, where you shop for your HELOC, each banks are gonna have different types of setup, different types of features, different types of fees. So it's really important that you don't just go into one bank and they tell you what a HELOC is and you think that's pretty much the HELOC across the board. Uh, it's simply not true. There's different types of HELOCs that are out there, and it's really important that you read the fine prints as well as the disclosures when you're being presented with the HELOC offer by a bank. So just because you don't like the one term or one feature in one certain bank doesn't mean that you can go in and shop around for different types of HELOCs. Uh, whereas in a mortgage, wherever you go, it's generally the same. Uh, they may offer different types of uh, interest rates, or they may offer you different types of uh, fees, but generally, almost all mortgage or mortgages are operated the same way. They're offered in the same manner where, wherever you go. Uh, HELOC is different. Banks can, again, customize however they want, different types of interest rates. They have an intro rate. Uh, can you do a direct deposit into a HELOC? Um, does the HELOC come with a checking account uh, protection plan, there's so many different types of features that are out there, so be sure to, if you're shopping for a HELOC and you're wondering where can I get a HELOC, uh, be sure you shop around thoroughly and find out and do some research 
uh, about where to get a HELOC. So uh, to kind of give you the summary, again, home equity line of credit is essentially like a credit card that is attached to your home equity. We talked about what a home equity is. Uh, there are different types of lines, like lines of credit, personal line of credit, business line of credit, and generally line of, lines of credit, you can reuse, pay back, uh, you know, you repeat. Uh, higher interest rate doesn't necessarily mean that you have to pay a higher amount of interest. It definitely depends on how you use the home equity line of credit, uh, and that's ultimately gonna dictate how much you will end up paying uh, as far as the interest. And also different types of banks offer different types of HELOCs, so be sure you go shop around for it. So the next video that you guys should definitely watch is how to pay off your mortgage within five to seven years using a home equity line of credit. That video is gonna be right here. Go and check it out. Uh, you guys will find out, you guys will be mind blown because the, um, the information, the strategy that I'm gonna break down for you guys is literally gonna sh save you and help you uh, sh shave off two thirds of the amount of interest that you will pay and a two thirds amount of uh, time that you would spend on paying a loan. So definitely go and check out that video and I'll see you in the next video.